It's time for the briefing. Although, since we don't have any contact with HQ, it's not like this is an official mission. Anyway, it looks like the seizure of Tyler Island and the relief from Osea have been postponed. In the meantime, we just have to do what we can to survive. Since losing its capital city of Ferbanti, Eurusian forces have separated into smaller, autonomous factions. It looks like Eurusia's largest force and leading faction will pass through the area around this base. The space elevator is significant to them, so they're probably heading there. Should we intercept? Why? I doubt they're gonna start a fight now. Our top priority should be to get home. Let's go already. Yeah. It's not like we have the supplies, power, or even a real reason to put up a fight. But, what are we going to do if they bring the fight to us? We need to be ready to push them back. If we head inland from here towards Arusha, there's an old castle that's been converted into a stockpiling base. Shalaji Castle. It's currently occupied by some of the Arusian forces that broke off, but we need ammo and fuel. They appear to have converted a freeway into a runway, so we can expect them to have the capacity for air combat. But they'll be easier to handle than Arusha's lead faction. But we can't use all our aircraft to attack. The transport carrying the stolen supplies needs support. Okay, Strider Squadron. You head out first, and neuter the dogs at the stockpiling base. Rendezvous with Cyclops Squadron, who will bring the transport. Then we bring the supplies back to this base. Got it. Aircraft are our only threat. Sounds good. We'll make it. We're all gonna fly home. Together. Strider Squadron, aircraft prep complete. You're cleared to taxi. No Ocean forces are in the region ahead. No allies here. No need to ID your target. We've set a number of priority targets, focusing on their anti-aircraft weaponry. Okay, team, to work. Unidentified aircraft, not sure of friend or foe. Fire anyway. We don't have time to be wondering if they're friendlies or not. So, we capture this base and take the fuel and supplies. That's the plan, right, Trigger? You take if you want to live. That's how it was where I grew up. I was just double-checking mission orders, Hushin. Our anti-air guns are destroyed! Abandon and fall back to our rear position! Street! Destroyed. There are more vehicles along the road. They don't appear to be military. Their tank is destroyed. They're losing refugees. They must be fleeing since the conflict got worse. Unidentified aircraft. Identify at once or we'll open fire. What are you talking about? They already are firing on us. Hit them with the enemy's confused. I know. Why are they after this Nicole. base? We're all out of ammo! We're not going to lose Nicole. our country again! Nicole. So is this faction split the Russian military? The autonomous state of Shalaji used to be a nation. The region has always leaned towards independence. Those who want to restore their homelands flock to it. Apparently. Their core consists of officers from Vosslich, which neighbor in Shalaji. Are they our enemies? They're our enemies' enemy, but not our friends. Nicole. We're unable to use the SAMs! Help me! There 
resistance is strong. They seem pretty desperate. guys are pretty good. Shot 
Rudder 1, you have a bogey approaching at high speed. Bearing 090, straight from the east. down Mr. X. Yeah, it's gonna take something else entirely to end this thing. I just don't know what. The resupply went well. We should be okay on food and fuel reserves for a little while at least. Luckily, the rumor that the Erujian army is advancing nearby is only a rumor. There's no sign of them from the skies. Rumors, rumors, rumors. This is what happens when you lose communications. But we got one good fact. The plane trigger shot down was an advanced model of the XO-2 Wyvern. It was developed in the last Continental War. 
Perugia had a lot up their sleeves. Apparently, they were even supposed to have Belkin aircraft back in the first war. What if Trigger couldn't shoot it down? Just thinking about it gives me chills. We're lucky to be here. In war, you never know what's lurking behind the curtains. But it looks like everything's loose now. A solid chain of command, rest periods after sorties, a battlefield where you know friend from foe. All of that's gone now, lost in a fog of confusion. Feels like a distant dream. Now, just how the hell are we gonna get out of this mess?